It sometimes strikes us as kind of odd that there aren't more auto-runner rhythm game mashups on the app stores. They're two genres that fit so well together that when a new one comes out, it always puts a smile on our faces. And Muse Dash does just the same. Though it's got issues, the core of the gameplay, the beating heart if you like, is good enough that for the most part you can overlook them. The game sees you controlling an anime character with a guitar and a sick outfit. You need to get from A to B, fighting enemies and avoiding obstacles along the way. And it's there that the rhythm twist comes in. Rather than having a jump or attack button, there are two circles hovering just in front of you. Hit the right of the screen and you swing at the bottom circle. Hit the left and you'll swing at the top. Other combinations of screen presses do different things. Sometimes you'll need to tap on the left to hop over a spinning spike. Sometimes you need to hold a finger down to play a long solo that's represented by a neon pink or blue strip on the screen. Sometimes you have to put both fingers down at the same time to do a middle screen smash. On the easier settings things are very sedate, but when things get tougher your fingers are going to be manically dancing all over the screen. It's a real test of hand-eye coordination and a lot of fun. The problems are small but they are there. The progression's a bit wonky, and while there are a variety of levels, eventually the backdrops and bad guys start to repeat themselves. Also, some of the later character designs are... Yeah... Really? But there's a slickness to the game that's hard to find fault with. When it's working, which is most of the time, it's a prime example of what happens when you squish two different ideas together cleverly. And despite the bright colours and cute characters, there's a heavy challenge, especially when you push on to test your skills in the later levels. It's smart and refined and, well, it struck a chord with us.